What's up everybody? This your man, Dante. Coming at you with another hot Kai NPC Renaissance and a Kai Advance 49 VIP software update. Um you know since my last video or my first video about the Kai Advance um it had just came out um and I reviewed it and I said if you go back to that video on some of the recommendations that I wanted a car to make that would make the product good um so far since <laughs> they just released a new um update for the advance um well for the VIP software which is 1.1 um it came out um I believe it was Monday and Akai has made improvements um, they also probably about three months ago they came out with a firmware update which allows you to have control your NPC Renaissance uh, transport through your advance so they have made some updates since but the 1.1 that came out Monday was the first software update, the first version of it. And they made a lot of, you know, improvements because a lot of people was, uh, you know, giving their thoughts and opinions. And before I go on, let me send a, a big shout out to, to a YouTuber who got really popular over his, his video about the events. He was one of the first guys to get it. And, um... His, his name is Ken Cameron. You know, um, big shots out to him. Um, <laughs> homie was mad. He was really mad, uh, which he should be. You know, because Akai, we are the buyers of these products, and you know, Akai really has to, you know, cater to us as well. So, I just want to send out a uh, shout out to uh, Ken C Cameron for that, because. Um, Akai has made some good updates in you know this first version. Like they they updated the the auto select function, which that was a thing that a lot of people was complaining about. But to get back to my video um, and my thoughts, I was <clears throat> you know if you looked at my video the first time, I did ask Akai there was room for improvement, and I wanted to see a chord feature. Um, something similar to what the M3 has, um, where you can assign chords on the fly to the pads. And here's the form, um, right here. Um, I requested this, you know, in my video, and I requested this on their website five months ago, as you can see. And it got, it got a lot of responses. A lot. Um, I got 20 replies, and this was a very popular topic um, and what I said was hi as a composer and songwriter I would like for you guys to add a chord assign feature to the past something like what the Korg M3 has and if anybody's familiar with the chord the Korg M3 you know like you can uh, you can just press chords and assign them to the pads on the fly and I got a response from you know the project manager and developer um, Dan um, you know he's he's really known, um, and he said, "I certainly like this idea. Thanks for the feedback. I'll submit a uh, feature request for you both, because a lot of people was in support of what I wanted. Because like I said, if you go back to the video, that's one thing that I could I see that was really needed, and it went on and on. Like you know, a lot of people replied. They had my back on it, and you know, five months later, we got it." You know, um, it works very similar to what the Cork M3 has, and this really puts, you know, the ball back in Akai's court now. Um, and I'm going to show you how it works. So, um, furthermore, um, they also updated the, the graphic user interface. Um, you can now stretch it. To the screen as big as you want now they didn't have that at first they just had like the regular size so 
shouts out and they also did a lot of stuff like they got the auto select feature um but i want to get to this cork feature now um because i know all y'all want to know how it is um this is how you do it you got to go right here to this mold right here um and you hit learn you hit that you hit the pad because all these all these are in the scale you know so you just hit learn and you click the pad you want and you put in the chords you want so I want a C minor bam store it in there for that pad now on this pad um let's go with a, a D chord that um and let's go with a, a G chord okay let's just use these three chords for simplicity you can do up to um you got a bank a b c and d so you can put more chords on here if you if you like to all the way up to d so once we get the chords we want we clicked off the learn button and we play it back You know, it's really quick for songwriters. I'm definitely loving this feature. I definitely love it, Akai. Thank you. Um, thank you for the you know the people that support. You know all my fellow musicians out there. This is a really good feature. Um, like I said, if you want to start writing music, can, you can do it. It'll help you. And I think this is really gonna put Akai on the map. But this is how you pretty much use it. So. So you can all, you know, get an idea on how you want your music. Now that you got the chords you want, we can record it to a tempo on the NPC Renaissance. So let's go with something real slow and temp. And then you can start adding your, adding melodies and stuff like that. So this is pretty much it, you know. Um, it's on the you can actually do it from you know the VIP software. You can also do it from the advance itself. Um, I wish I had another camera you can um, see it, but this is just one of the cool features that's in the first update of the software. So thank you guys. You know, rate, subscribe, share, comment if you like. Um, Vans 49, man. Um, stay tuned. 1.9 MPC is coming up next. So, if you ain't got it by now, you know what I'm finna say. You gotta get it. You gotta get it, man. Peace.